to share a tool called Canva that I use quite a bit. And now because of distance learning, they're offering this free classroom edition to try out. So we're just going to try it out. I have used, recently used it because I needed to redesign our Summer Spark website. So this is one of the older pages and it had this kind of dark background. Um, actually, the whole thing was dark, but I've already uh, done some stuff with it. So I was experimenting with creating some logos for the three things we're going to be doing. So this was like version one, this was like version two, and then this is the version that actually appears on the website. So now um, I created that banner and then these options to choose from. So the way I did this in Canva and your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is to create a logo. So I'm going to share a link with you that will let you sign up with the classroom. And if it asks for an email, just sign in with your Google school Google account. But you're going to create design and we want to do logo. So what it does is it sort of pre sets out the area that you need for a logo. So this is 500 by 500, which is pretty large for a logo, but it's you know something that you want to be able to scale up to that or down. And then you'll see there's all sorts of uh, templates that you can use to get started. Uh, of course, if you're going to do this, I don't want you to just take a template and that's it. I, am, I just want a white background, so I'm just going to choose this one and delete stuff off of it. I just want to show you the process that I went through when I did this with the logos. So I got my blank screen. There's a bunch of elements you can choose from. So I was looking for a game element for game design, and I thought the pinata was a cool thing. And then I like the color. So once I had picked this, I also decided, you know, I really like these colors. And then uh, next thing I worked on was the text. So um, this is going to be game design. And I played with the text uh, down here in the middle, down up here on the top. And uh, for some reason, I decided to sort of write justify everything. But I thought, well, that's kind of boring. So I want to put a, like a, a solid background behind that. So I went back to my elements and looked up shapes. And just grabbed one of these free ones. Now, you have to pay attention. Some of these are for purchase. Um, I guess a lot of shapes are free. But if it has, oh, am I going to find one? Well, let me go back to game. Wow, a lot more stuff is free with a classroom version. Well, that's really cool. All right. Uh, anyway, don't pay for anything. <laughs> we, don't, we can't cover you there. So I decided to kind of create this background and I changed colors. There's default colors here, which I kind of liked, um, or you can choose your own color. And then I decided, well, I'd like the, this to be white text. And then when I was using my template for the website, the this particular font was something that I wanted to match. So I found a font that I like called Bibis. Uh, bold that, make it a little bigger. So I'm doing this now pretty quickly because I had already made all these design decisions, but let me tell you, I experimented a ton with this. But once you have something you like, you can click download and download is a PNG and then share it on your Padlet. Uh, good luck.